Murray's boy. That's Mitchell Farrell. Murray's boy. Murray's boy. He comes out and says that he's aghast at what he said. But that's Murray's boy right there. That protester referring to Nuri Martinez, tying her to O'Farrell, who was there working a weekly food drive at the Hollywood Recreation Center. Acting LA City Council President Mitch O'Farrell is here with us live in studio. I don't think you go by the title Nuri's Boy unless you want to. <laughs> I do not. That, that yeah. is something that was heard in the recordings. I'm no one's boy. I'm yeah. my own person, and we cannot control uh, the. The, any of the terrible things that were said in those recordings, uh, any reference to anyone, including myself. How do you even process this week, everything that's been gone through, and even the, the, the extraordinary anger you see wherever you go, even being associated with this somehow? You process it one moment at a time. Um, uh, I was, I've been explaining that I was out, in shock, outraged, angry, upset, and those emotions have played out since Sunday when I first learned about this, like everyone else. Mm -hmm. And now we're at resolve. We are resolved to make sure that Mr. Cedillo and Mr. DeLeon resign. That is absolutely necessary because it's preventing an obstacle to us uh, in order to get the people's business done, to move on from this, to begin healing. And this incredible harm through this transgression is only growing in intensity and it's just deepening the wound that they already caused. So now is the time for them to resign so we can move on. Where does that stand? Any new developments? Because we know that Nuri Martinez resigned Wednesday. Each and every day it's sort of waiting for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Have you made contact with them since Tuesday when they were there at the, at the city council meeting? Um, I reached out again to Mr. De Leon. I will, I will catch up with him this weekend. That is, is I'm determined to do so because we, we really need to discuss this. I've discussed it at length with Mr. Cedillo, and I feel that he has moved further along in that road to acceptance, that this moment is much, much bigger than uh, any of us, certainly the two of them, and that there's too much hurt around the horseshoe. There's too much hurt in the city. I mean, if you think about this, if Mr. De Leon were to come back, on one side is Ms. Heather Hutt, on the other side is Marquise Harris Dawson. None of us colleagues are going to have any part of their presence around that horseshoe, and they need to realize that. And we are giving voice to what the people of Los Angeles are demanding. So what are they waiting for? You talk to Cedillo. Is it about money? Is it about negotiating? Because they get paid every day that they stay on, mm -hmm. and they start losing that money if they leave. Well, former controller Laura Chick said it's about money, and I have not talked to them about that issue in particular. Um, but I'm sure that they're grappling with lots of issues related to their position, their future, their finances. There's no question about that. But all of that pales into, cons uh, into comparison to the moment that they need to meet, the fact that they need to put all of that to the side for the better of the city, for the better of their constituents. We are called upon to keep our egos in check, to keep our personal feelings in check, keep our ideology in check, and to promote good governance. Mm -hmm. And I think what they're doing is uh, in violation of all of those principles. M Mr. Cedillo, his term is, he's done in December, mm -hmm. literally a month and a half. Mm -hmm. Do you have it on his word that he will step down, or do you see him taking this to the end? I don't have it on his word, but I sense that he is grappling with the inevitable. I sensed that when we spoke on uh, uh, late Wednesday afternoon. And, and I think that uh, I, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful uh, to have some word from each of them by the weekend or certainly by the beginning of the week. So when you say you're going to follow Kevin DeLeon, I mean, are you going to like run around well, town and look and knock on his I, door like we have been? Like, what I, does that mean? I'm going to find him. Uh, we have always had mutual respect for yeah. one another. Um, there are levels where we can still connect, and I want to um, appeal to him as a colleague, as a public servant, understanding the harm that was done, to be able to put all of that to the side. It's tragic for the city. It's tragic for them individually. But as I've explained to them, that none of that matters, because what matters the most is what's best for LA. Next week, um, the council meetings are going to be virtual. Mm -hmm. You say that's because of a COVID-19 exposure. We know mm -hmm. that Mike Bonin 
has COVID mm -hmm. now, but yes. there are mm -hmm. some people that say, you're using that as cover. You don't want to hear from all these people that are there. This is a way to do the business and use that as an excuse, and that's kind of BS. What do you say to that? Mike Bonin had COVID that day, and everyone was hugging him, holding hands with him, uh, very close contact throughout that entire council meeting. So the antigens may not even show up until this weekend. We, we aren't going to know, so we're going to do massive testing for everyone who was in council chambers that day. And I think it would be reckless, actually, at this point, to move forward with a meeting in person. And on the other matter, we will hear every public comment again, like we did on mm -hmm. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We will hear every last public comment. They'll be virtual. It's not perfect, but it'll protect the public from any further exposure. Yeah, that Tuesday meeting went on for about three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. That's how long public comment lasted. Mm -hmm. I yes. want to know what you make of the leaked recording itself. What are you hearing about who mm -hmm. made that recording and who leaked it? And is there concern that there's going to be more such recordings leaked? I have no idea. I think it's a, it's a total mystery on how this happened and who's responsible. I have also no doubt that there will be more to come out. Uh, that seems to be the nature of this. A, a little little uh, gambits get leaked at a time, and, and who knows what's next. So we're on this wild ride together, but it's tragic. It's sad. It's not funny. And uh, we should put aside all the palace intrigue and just get on with the people's business. It's interesting. We have Gustavo Ariano on The Issue Is, our political show tonight at 1030. He's one of the reporters who broke it. And he said the thinking now is that it was somebody from inside the labor movement mm -hmm. who was actually trying to get Ron Herrera out of his job and that Nuri and Kevin and Gail are sort of just collateral damage from that. Mm -hmm. At least that's their operating premise, the people that wrote this story. On Tuesday, there's supposed to be an election for a new president of mm -hmm. the LA City Council. Uh, right now you're acting president. You're not mm -hmm. running for permanent president. Correct. Why aren't you running? Mm -hmm. And also, who do you think would be good in that job? I'm not ambitious in that way. That's just the bottom line. I wasn't ambitious to be president pro tem. Um, I love serving the 13th district. I am a public servant at heart. I got out there today and handed out food. I, I plant trees and I lay down new sidewalks. I get in cherry pickers and trim trees. I'm an on the ground kind of uh, council member and that's, that's where I met my best and I think that's where I have the most to offer. Uh, and so at this time, and I'm in the middle of a re-election myself. Yeah. Uh, and I think Close that, race. Yeah, and I think the city would be better served by someone who can devote full focus on this. My job at the moment is to help lead us to that place and for the new uh, leadership to take. Is there somebody over. in particular who that is? <laughs> not, not in my mind. Uh, okay. um, I, I will remove myself from those conversations because that means that I would be distracted away from getting this moment in order. And it is a moment by moment um, space we're in. The developments just keep coming and it's, it's important for me uh, to get this right, and the people need a steady hand. I'm offering a steady hand through this, and I will make these determinations uh, and do my best while I have this position, and that is what Angelinos need from me, from us right now, and I'm crystal clear on that. Acting, Everything else is secondary. Acting Council President Mitch O'Farrell, yeah. thank you for being with us tonight. Thanks, Marla. Thank Thanks, you. Alex. What a week. Thank yeah. you for coming thank you. in. We appreciate, appreciate it. the time.